Hey crafty friends, welcome to Saturday I'm Extravaganza. Uh, I'm Anna Kessler and thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm adding one more canvas to my wall of inspiration and I'm creating an abstract painting. Abstract painting is a whole genre in art and you have million and one ways that you can do it. I'm just doing a very simple painting today. And I'm starting with just putting some acrylic paints on my canvas, just straight on the canvas itself. Just a few drops of paint here and there. And with a foam brush, I'm just spreading it around the canvas. Not even bothering to clean the brush in between colors. I don't mind the mixing together as long as I don't get mud which can happen if you use more than two or three different colors then you'll get mud but as long as you just stick with two or three then you are fine and again try not to overlap the colors too much so this way you Main, you can maintain more or less the original colors. So I'm just going to dry it a little bit with my heat tool before I move on to my next step. Now um, I just want to add some more colors. The same, I'm using the same colors. I'm just adding more in some areas so they'll be a bit brighter and more vibrant. So I'm basically adding another layer of the same colors in some places. And I'm using just an old plastic card, credit card or whatever card that you have, to spread the color, the paint. It's a very nice effect to my card. And I'm, you can see that I just uh, spread it in two lines, uh, leaving very big blobs of of paint. I just want it to be this way. I want the texture and I want the um, volume of the paint to stay on my canvas. Now I have here some pretty cool brushes. They're by Martha Stewart um, and they have very irregular shapes. That is really great for adding lines and more texture to your canvas and I'm just this is this has th sort of three br small brushes on one big brush and I, again I'm using the same three colors I'm just adding them in a different way in different lines and creating pattern on my uh, canvas and I have to say I have to tell you I have no planning whatsoever I'm just creating it as I go along with the video just gonna add a little bit of white uh, I'm just creating it as I go along and this is what abstract paint painting is all about this is another type of uh, brush this ha this one has two small brushes and look how pretty that is you can just play around and add lines and this is the biggest one that I have again with two brushes so what I started to tell you is that um, I put different color on each um, small brush. So now I have two lines, one in orange and one in teal. So abstract painting is just, this has little hair, just very, very thin hair with little gaps. It creates sort of a very, 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 faint effect which I really like so abstract painting is just paint whatever comes to your mind it is something that has no um, real representation of an image or a place or a person or something in reality it's just abstract uh, of course that after an abstract painting is finished you can use your imagination to see to see things in it but the point is not to draw them not to paint them in advance 
you're not painting a house or a girl or a tree or a car or whatever or a flower you're just painting abstract um, things so now I want to add a little bit of texture so I'm adding um, I'm taking a bandage a, or a cheesecloth you can use and I'm just tearing out some fibers just to add the texture and I'm just gonna cover them with the paint and that will stick them to the canvas no glue here whatsoever just the acrylic paint it will make them stick to the canvas and when the paint will dry they will just stay there just want to add a little bit of texture to my painting and you can see you can uh, see that I'm only using acrylic paints I'm not using any, any other medium just acrylic paints and actually the same acrylic paints throughout the canvas and just adding them my foam brush and the there are two difficult things about abstract painting. The first one is to accept whatever is on your canvas because usually just adding a little bit of very dark green uh, it's very fluid so I'm just gonna let it drip and I'm just gonna add a little bit more with my card again I'm leaving it very blobby and I'm not spreading it with a brush because I want the texture so I began to explain that it's sometimes very difficult to just accept whatever is on your canvas um, big uh, of course you can always paint all over it with gesso and start again but the whole point is just start painting and whatever comes out comes out and sometimes it's not easy because sometimes you don't like the result but that's what it is um, so you should either think of a way to make it better or just accept what you have the second thing is to resist and that was the very hard for me to resist the urge to add text to write something like art or creativity or to add something that is more than just paint and you know abstract shapes that was very diff difficult for me but you will see that I succeeded in my mission and I didn't add any text any stenciling this is not a mixed well it is a mixed media piece but the point is the painting is to paint with paint and not adding you know um, stenciling or stamping or things like that because that would make it something else so I've added a little bit more of those um, of this dark green and some extra blobs of my three color paints my orange yellow and teal and playing a little bit more with my card and my brushes and I'm just gonna take a little paint with my finger a little white will be better and just add a few circles because this is too many lines vertical and and um, horizontal lines I just want to break that so I'm just adding three circles to my painting with my finger and just adding a little bit more white the corners and you see how abstract this is you just add paint you just you just play around with it that's the whole point just play around with your paint uh, creating something that has no meaning that's abstract painting has no meaning just a few more lines with my credit card an old credit card plastic card I don't 
don't even think it's a credit card I think it's some kind of another card and you can just keep on doing this until you're happy with what you have don't forget to dry it every now and again with your heat tool so you won't get too much uh, mud or blob or whatever I'm mixing some um, teal and yellow to create green and now I'm using one of my cool brushes again these texture brushes is really I really like them again they're by Martha Stewart and I don't remember where I found them but they're really cool so I'm adding a few more strokes and now dots since I have three edges to my brush I can add dots really like the dots the dot effect that I can get so I'm adding a few orange ones a little bit more up there and just cleaning my brush I want to add another color now I'm adding bigger dots with some white with my other brush these brushes are so cool can play around adding dots here and there and of course don't forget to dry every now and again I want to add some more small white dots here against the dark green background it'll be really nice and I think I'm gonna dry this and I think I'm done with my painting now yes I really like how it turned out now the fun part about abstract painting is that now you can look at it and start imagining things that you see in the painting which of course I didn't mean to create when I, when I started or even when I finished um, to me it looks like a uh, reflection in the water of the moon and the sun with those two big I don't know towers or trees and the little dots look like lights in the city or something looks like night sky a little bit um, you know that the brain has a natural tendency to look for patterns and it usually looks for patterns that are make sense to us and by the way I've just turned the painting because nobody said that it has to be in the direction that I painted it you can decide to turn it in any way that you want and then maybe see new things new patterns and new uh, things on the painting and that's the fun part of abstract painting I'm I think I'm just gonna leave it the way I originally painted it but just know that you can look at it anyway so thank you very much for joining me i hope you had a lot of fun and you'll join me next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe